What is in my pockets? Now, I've never been in the military, but I've learned from people in the military there's a great saying. And that saying is you survive with what you got in your pockets. So first up, my right hand pocket, I've got a little pepper spray. Now this is crucial for de-escalating situations, self-defense. You can see I've wrapped it here in this, I call it weightlifter tape. It's just a real soft, you know, tape. You can wrap this around um, your AR. So I've got that wrapped with this strange little nubby. <laughs> That's that way I keep it, you know, upside down. I can get it out real quick. So there's my um, self-defense pepper spray. Next up, got a little pocket knife. And this is just a little foldable. Doesn't even lock in place. I mostly use this just to open things, you know, get into boxes, but also it could be a self-defense tool. It's uh, made in Spain, vintage. I got it at Goodwill, I believe. So there's my little pocket knife. Hand sanitizer. I can't get enough hand sanitizer. I've been using it, you know, forever. Before the uh, lockdowns and whatnot. I just love it. Gives me a little peace of mind. You know, you've seen my videos and I'm at the Goodwill bins a lot. So a lot of hand sanitizer. So a little mini one of these, good idea. You can also use that hand sanitizer as an accelerant. You want to get an emergency fire going. Speaking of fire, chapstick. This is strawberry. Love my chapstick. Also a great thing if you're getting a little emergency fire going, the um, chapstick will extend the life of that. It's just all petroleum. You'll find that any kind of a makeup, you know, girl's makeup has petroleum. Almost everything's got petroleum in it. It'll light, it'll burn. I'm gonna talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you wanna see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it. Got a piece of Nicorette, nicotine gum. A lot of times I'm in places where I can't smoke. So go to the gum, it works. Good deal. Key for the place where I'm staying. And on that key, I've got a safety pin. Now I've talked about this a lot in videos. The safety pin is just a killer piece of gear. So many things you can do with it, secure things, you know, get into tight little spaces you need to dig out. Million uses, safety pins, highly recommend them. So that's on my key. That's all for that pocket. In my left pocket here, I've got some cash, small bills. Now I learned a lesson a long time ago in third world countries where bribery is a way of life. Okay, so you get stopped by the police. Police, right, they're the worst. And they're gonna say, hey, let me see your documentation for your, you know, insurance. And they look at it and they go, oh, oh, and they talk and they go back and forth. They leave you there sweating. And they come back and they go, yeah, this is all right, you know, but this stamp is black, it's supposed to be red. So it's no good. And you go, oh, and they go, yeah, we can tow your car. You're gonna have to go to the jail and blah, blah, blah. Well, you, you know, pull out a little cash, done. But what you learn real quick in those situations is that it's whatever you got on you. So when you pull out a $20 bill, it's gonna cost you $20. When you pull out a $100 bill, it's gonna cost you $100. So I learned from my local friends that you want a lot of small bills and I keep this separately from my main cash, okay? So here I've got probably $10 in ones. Good trick. Let's see, moving on to my left pocket. I've got my side pocket here. And in there I've got my passport. These are my lottery tickets. I've got this thing I've done it my whole life. I save them up. I'll get a month, two, three months. That gives it time to, you know, percolate. It builds up that good energy. Then you scratch them and you win. <laughs> so I've got my passport. I've got my lottery tickets. In that pocket, I've also got my 
cards. Okay. So I like to keep those separate. I don't use a wallet. I think I might have used one once when I was 13, 15, lost it. I've never gone back. I normally just, you know, keep this small cash, keep it just like that, done. I don't like wallets. So that's my driver's license, credit cards, that kind of thing. And this side pocket that has a zipper, so you can see I've got the real cash. Always like to keep cash on me. You know, when you got a hundred dollar bill, separate. But when you can produce a hundred dollar bill, I learned a long time from somebody, I can't remember, I think it was my grandpa. I always have, you know, if you can afford it, have a hundred dollar bill on you, you'd be amazed what you can get done with a hundred dollar bill. So that's the real cash lives in a zip pocket that's hidden. First aid, got a nice big fat band-aid. This is my little med kit. So in here I can see I've always got aqua tabs. I've got Pepto-Bismol. Looks like I've got a NyQuil, Tums. This is just a little, uh, kind of like a little plastic bag. I think it's just a little Mylar. Came with something I bought. But what's interesting in here, I don't know if you've ever seen these, are these little, they're basically little towelettes. Okay, so it's just like a little napkin, just 100% cotton. You open this up, and if you apply water to it, it expands, okay, into a little towelette like this, so you can clean yourself. But these are multi-purpose for me because I can start a fire with this, okay? So now I've got, you know, some tinder or something that's going to catch. You mix that with the chapstick, which is petroleum, or the hand sanitizer. Good to go, get a fire going, important. Also in here, I've got a little thing of salt. And I learned a long time ago that just like Gatorade or these liquid IVs, which I love, but they're $2.99 each, a little bit of salt into whatever you're drinking is good for you, okay? So you're getting that rejuvenation. And the way I was taught is that you wanna take a pinch of salt put it into what you're drinking, you shouldn't even taste it. If you taste it, it's way too much salt. So it's a tiny little bit and you drop it in there, good for you. Rehydrate you, electrolytes. Got a Benadryl in here. These I love. You can see everything's tiny, because I'm into tiny. I don't know if you've seen these, these are little lights you can get. You get, I think, 20 of them for $9.99, maybe even more. But it's just a simple little squeeze light. But what's great is there's a little toggle. So when you get it, you can pick this up. Right here, there's a little toggle switch type thing. And that enables you to lock it on. So now I could hide it under something or secure it under something and I've got light, right? So when you get these, look for that little switch that enables you to leave it turned on. Great little tool, very 007. Got an aspirin and a modium AD. You get the runs and you're out and about, no bueno. So that's my little uh, medical kit. And here's the aqua tabs. I'd like to see the date on these. Let's see. Okay, expires 2028. So we still got time. These have been around. Good to have on you. I mean, obviously I'm talking about, I'm in an urban situation, so there's gonna be water available to me. If there wasn't, then we got some serious problems. Let's check another pocket. More medical. Here in this little pocket, I've got a cat tourniquet. Important. Now I'm concealed carry. So that means I'm around firearms. So if you've got a firearm on you, you need to have a Cat 7 and get a real one, a genuine one. Don't get any of that bullshit off of, you know, Amazon or eBay. Made in China. This windlass right here will snap. They're junk. You're doing yourself a big disservice if you buy those junkies. So spend the $25, get a real one. Okay, go to North American Rescue, pick one up. Got my cat tourniquet on me. And of course, learn how to use it. You can go to North American Rescue. They've got a great series of videos that teach you how to use it properly. 
Here's um, paracord. I always keep, it's probably, you know, I don't know, six feet like this. Paracord can do, you know, work miracles. So I've got that daisy changed, daisy chained. What else do I have in here? Now this is interesting. These are the plastic bags that you get when you're at the grocery store, okay, for your meats, fruits. And I've actually got one hanging up here and we're on week two. It's been filled with a, I don't know, this much water just to do a test to see how long it would hold. And it's been over two weeks. So I think it's been like, it's day 17. I've been hash marking it. No leakage. So I started using these when I was building little emergency survival kits, little Altoids tins. Weighs nothing. They're free. Good to have on you. All right, anything in that pocket? No, no. Okay, that one's clean. Now, you know, the reality is I always have a backpack on me. If you've watched me, you know, that's how I roll. I've always got a backpack on me. So I've got more kit in there, but this is what's physically in my pockets. And I'm wearing a jacket and these pockets are part of it because I'm concealed carry. So I need this to cover up my pistol during the summer things change i wear a fanny pack you know you've got to find places to hide it so if you conceal you know that once that weather changes and you can wear the clothing whole different world much easier okay during the summer it's it's a trick and it's just a given when you've got a fanny pack on or you see somebody with that on they're concealed carry that's what that is so the winter is just beautiful for concealed carry since i know that i'm gonna have my jacket on Here's my, you know, go-to number one tool. You can see that strobe. And this is the Nightcore P10 GT, Papa 10 Golf Tango. I did a video on this last year, I believe. I've had this, I think, for now nine years. And it is my go-to because of this little piece here, okay? This panel, or not panel, this little, it's kind of a button. Can't remember exactly what they call it, but it's dedicated to strobe only. So the problem you'll see with these is that they've got, you know, a certain sequence of buttons you have to get to strobe, say. You have to press it once, you have to turn to the left, jump up and down, turn to the right, do the hokey pokey, whatever it is, right? To get it to go to strobe, it doesn't work. So I did lots of research a long time ago, and this was the only one that had this paddle, that's what they're called. And you simply press the paddle, Boom, straight to strobe. I've used this dozens and dozens and dozens of times to de-escalate situations. So this is, you know, even before, it all depends on the situation. This is self-defense. So, you know, am I breaking out the spray? Am I breaking out the light? It's almost always the light first, especially once it's dark, I'm gonna have this in my hand. But even during the daytime, this thing will blind you basically. But at night it's just, brutal you can see here what i've done where the paddle is it's got a piece of gorilla tape here and then on the paddle itself i've taken a file and i've i've really scraped it up so that way when it's in your hand you can turn this you know without even looking you just practice it boom i know i'm on the paddle i can turn it boom i'm on the paddle i can drop it pick it up boom i'm on the paddle so that's a little trick you know, add a little piece of Gorilla Tape right where the paddle is and scrape up the paddle so you can feel it with your finger. Really important because you got to get to this quick, right? Boom. So excellent tool. This is the Nightcore. I know you can still get these because I just got the link from my friend. Beautiful light. Love it. Probably my most touched, most used tool. See what else I got here. In my back pocket, I have the new product that I've been making. I started a little business, Hang Tough Survival. And this is the Mini VS-17, okay? If you've been in the military, you know what this is, but it's the signal aircraft for rescue. Now I've been making these, started a little company, very proud of them. I've been selling them too. So it makes me very happy to know that people have these out there. 
This only weighs one ounce. It's got four strands of gutted paracord and the whole thing weighs one ounce. Wraps up just like that. Stick that in the pocket. Now, the reason I have this on me is because I'm talking with manufacturers because I'm going to need help getting these made. Right now, I'm sewing them all myself. And as Christmas comes and that demands heating up, I need to have help. So I need to find a manufacturer that can help me with these and make these. So this is on me at all times because you never know where you're going to meet somebody. Okay. So I can pull this out and go, hey, I'm making this. Is this something you could make? That's why it's on me. Obviously in the woods and whatnot, I'm gonna have this on me at all times. That's what it's made for. In an urban environment, it could be useful. You know, in what I do working with security, we need to call in EMTs, fire, police. And this comes in real handy. When you're in a huge crowd, you can put this up. They come to you. What else I got on me? Here, got a little thing of gum. Cementos, the fresh maker, right? <laughs> fresh breath is a good thing. You know if you've dealt with somebody that has the halitosis. Woo. No bueno. I don't know how many people I've met. <clears throat> you just wonder, do they not know? Or, I mean, I've told people before, just straight out, like, hey, you know, you've got a rotten tooth if something's not right. And I've had people not know and go, oh my God, that's horrible. And they've gone and sure enough, they had some, something going on. But fresh breath is a big deal. Plus I smoke cigarettes, so got gum. It's also a peace offering, you know, something's going down, de-escalated situation. Hey man, want a piece of gum? Something like that. So I've got gum on me. Very important tool, the Bic lighter. And of course you must have the, uh, Gorilla tape wrapped around it. And here I've just got a black rubber band. Obviously to get fires going, I smoke, so it's to light my cigarette. I can give somebody else a light, another real de-escalating type situation. If you watch my video about urban survival tricks, you'll see how I talk about tobacco cigarettes as being a real big, huge de-escalator. I've been in many situations where somebody's flipping out, rah, freaking out. And, you know, that minute, hey, cigarette, you smoke? Boom, here's a cigarette, here's a light. Boom, instantly de-escalation, they're on their way. Cigarettes are very powerful tools. So I've just got the rubber band. Obviously this um, Gorilla Tape can be used to mend things, but it's in the world, in the bushcraft world anyway, it's to get fires going, okay? So you can rip this Gorilla Tape off, scrunch it up, and it will light up and burn for quite a while, so. Always a Bic lighter. Try and get some Gorilla Tape on it. Black rubber band, rubber bands, billion uses. Okay, it's extra hands. We can only do so much with this. Well, when you've got a rubber band, you can simply, you know, secure something. It's just like the um, paracord. You've only got two hands. Well, this can wrap something up, secure it real easily. Just like the safety pin. You can secure something, you know, you rip your button, whatever it is that's happened, a safety pin, extra hands. That's how I think about it. Extra hands. And of course, the phone. I carry an iPhone 11, which this is like an iPhone 6, but I'm filming with the iPhone 11. So anyway, what I recommend for these is just get yourself a good case. You know, if you're into the outdoors and bushcraft, all the stuff, survival. A good case makes all the difference. So this is just an otter case. Makes it tough. Get a good screen protector. Now phones, you know, think more than half my life I made it without a phone. There were no cell phones. There was no internet. But it's just a reality now. You have to have a phone, right? I try as much as I can to stay off this thing. I limit, you know, I don't do any social media other than what I do for the channel. But you kind of got to have it right now. This is your main little source of emergency communication. One app that I was going to tell you about on here is called Gaia GPS. Now I've been using it for, it's got to be five years. It's incredible. You can have the phone in airplane mode. So no service, no Wi-Fi, nothing. You don't need any kind of service. 
I've used it all over up in the woods. Incredible app. So look up the Gaia GPS app, it's free. In my back pocket here, I always keep a bandana on me. A million uses, 100% cotton bandana. So bandaging, it's also great for concealment. You know, you can go uh, undercover right there. Easy peasy. So a bandana is always on me. I've always tried to keep a large Sharpie on me. This is that way I can, you know, do my tagging downtown. Just good to have on you. you never know when you're going to need to write something and the larger, fatter Sharpie just works on anything. If you need to leave a note in an emergency, this will write on, you know, concrete, wood, whatever. So a fat Sharpie. Let's see, I think I feel something else here. And that is magazine. So I'm concealed carry. This is an extra magazine, good to have on you, okay? Never know what's gonna happen. I heard somebody say once, if you can't take care of it, you know, with the magazine that's in your weapon at the time, in your pistol, it's a serious problem. You pray that you'll never have to use, you know, your weapon to self-defend, but you never know what kind of situation you get into. So here's my spare magazine, running hollow points. And then of course my conceal is here. And that is my trusted Glock 19. Again, running hollow points. And the magazine, or I'm sorry, the um, holster for that, it's a Tagua, you can see it here. It's just like a level one you know, I'm not working, I'm not in a situation where I'm thinking people can see this and that they're going to jump me to try and get my weapon, which is a huge problem nowadays. You know, you're a target. If you get three, four dudes come up to you and get on you, they can get that weapon from you. So for work and such, I've got a level three. And those are the levels of protection, okay? So it's got, you know, to get it off your body, they have to be in a certain position to be able to manipulate it. They can still get it off, but in this, you know, concealed carry daily, I'm just running this that just has the simple, um, you know, level one finger to release. What else? Got my tobacco, roll my own. Anything else on me? I think that's about it. So that's my um, pretty much, oh, can't forget the glasses. Got my seeing glasses here, so I can see. And then I might have my sunglasses on me. These are $900 Ray-Bans, only the best. No, these are just from the dollar store. Go to the dollar store, get your glasses there, because you know you're gonna lose them. They're gonna break, they're gonna get scuffed up. For 99 cents, you get identical clones to Ray-Bans. Grab a pair of Ray-Bans and grab a pair of these identical okay they've just ripped them off completely you can even paint on a little white speck there so it looks like the ray-ban logo is worn off you'll be cool that's about everything that's in my pockets i hope this uh gives you some inspiration 